Day three of Sailor for a Day. It's a program giving journalists the opportunity to experience life in the Navy. Yeah, photojournalist Jason Walsh has more as the group finally makes an onboard USS Gerald R. Ford to learn more about flight quarters operations. This whole program is about firsthand experiences for the reporter. We can talk to you about flying out to an aircraft carrier and what it's like, but there's nothing like being in that COD, the C-2 aircraft, and then all of a sudden going from 125 knots to zero in two seconds. You have to experience that. That is why that's the grand finale of this program. We are conducting our ship's training exercise. So right now we're focused on our ship, both our uh, air department, our navigation department, <laughs> deck department. Carrier, air, wing, A, returning. Damage control divisions, all preparing the ship for our eventual uh, deployment next year. This is, you know, kind of getting all the problems thrown at you uh, so that, you know, whatever problem comes, you're, you're able to handle. V1 is the flight deck, which you're looking at right now, or at least a replica of it, the Ouija board. We control everything that happens out there in real time. The advancements on our ship compared to a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier are pretty dramatic. We've got the electromagnetic uh, catapults and wire system. They've redesigned kind of the flight deck and our pilot house is further aft of the Nimitz-class superstructure. It's all about technological advancements, making the ship more ready for the future fight and into, you know, the next 30, 40 years of naval aviation out to sea.